this video we're going to show you how to prune this Victoria plum tree and explain why we're doing summer pruning instead of winter. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we feel we can help you develop your gardening skills by using the everyday plants here in our garden in Somerset to show you some propagation techniques to help you increase your stock without breaking the bank, helping you grow some vegetables, a little bit of pest control and much much more. So if you enjoy learning those things do consider subscribing to our channel. All that means is you're following us, there's no charge and don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Hello again. Uh, right, today we're having a look at this uh, Victoria plum. When I bought it, I bought it on a normal route. If I'd known then what I know now, I'd have bought it on a dwarfing rootstock. That way that would have kept it small. And in this situation, I don't want it to get massive. Um, it's in front of the house, so we don't want it too big. Uh, so to try and keep a, a fruit tree uh, uh, small, you prune in the summer and that's because you're taking away the leaves, the photosynthetic uh, part of the plant and, and that, that will keep it small. So all, 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 all trained fruit, uh, often you know, whatever rootstock you're on, should be pruned in the summer. Now plums should also be pruned in the summer because in the winter they get uh, silver leaf. Um, but as I say, summer pruning reduces growth, winter pruning encourages it. So we're coming along now, it's mid-July, um, the, uh, the, the June drop should have happened. Um, so the thing is really, I want to get into this plant and I want to see what's going on there. Uh, and I can see there's quite a lot of fruit coming. So let's open it up and see what we've got. So these, these shoots which are coming off really want to go back to about two buds. Um, all the way around, two, two, two buds to, to, to keep it small. And so I'm just going to make it almost like, like fighting your way in here. Okay, so there's the cut from last year. There's one, two shoots, and I'm going to cut just above that shoot. Nice and clean, there we are. And this one here, one, two, that'll go back to there. And these are smaller shoots here. I might take that right away just to open it up. There we are, and looking in here, a bit, again, a bit congested. Let's take that out and let some fresh air in. Um, that one's going to... New growth coming over there, we'll get that one out. But with these, it's this, this new bit you want to get right back to stop them getting too big. So there, one, two, again, one, two, uh, in there, one, two. And you see what I'm doing is I'm keeping this, this tree really within control. Now last year I did exactly the same thing, cut it back hard and you can see it's not affected the crop at all. There's a really good crop of, of plums there, if you look up in the top of the tree there. Loads and loads of plums. Uh, and that's the, 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 the next thing to think of. Uh, do we need to thin them? Now, uh, at the moment, they don't look too bad. Plums will sometimes completely uh, overfruit and they'll get to a massive size. And I've seen little trees ruined by the, the plums just pulling them, pulling them down. In this case, I'm not going to worry too much about thinning yet. Sometimes they'll go, they're, 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 actually they are staying on. Um, with the June drop, they'll sometimes go. Sometimes you'll find that just a little bit of a touch will send them off. Those seem to be all right, so we'll, we'll leave those. Um, just, just, just gently uh, stroke the, the clumps underneath, and that'll bring off any, any small ones or ones that are, are not going to be any good. I think we've actually probably gone past the dune drop now. So that's, there's nothing there to give me any problems. Um, many more, I might think about doing some, some thinning, but for the moment they're fine, we'll leave them be and uh, come back and have a look at it uh, when they start ripening up a piece. It's, 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 not, it's going to be you know, quite a long job here. Um, where I've got bits here with no fruit on that are a bit sort of uh, whippy, I'm just going to take that right off and let the air in. Um, here again, that, that piece is doing a bit, but I'll take that back quite tight. Because as I say, the whole thing is to try and keep this one from growing too much. It's getting a bit congested here. Where it's getting congested, don't be afraid to take pieces out. Um, you can feel all oh, those plums there, so we won't take too much those out, not the plums. And there we go, bringing it back to shape. And it's really these long pieces that we want to get under control. 
think you can see them clearly from where you are. Um, back to two buds and the whole plant is becoming controlled and uh, hopefully will reduce the growth. But the other thing is that by opening it up now, you're letting the light and the air into the, uh, the fruit and so it will ripen much better with a little bit of sunshine on it. And all fruit trees do well with a bit of air and sometimes I'm, I go in here and I take out bits which are coming up through the middle. I mean, this piece here, for example, it's got a few fruit on it. If I take that away, look at the amount of light and air I let in there. It all helps the fruit, the, the, the fruit that's left to, to really ripen up. So there we are, nice lot of uh, uh, Victoria plum jam to have later on the year. Well, that's all. Thank you so much for joining us here in our Somerset garden today. We very much enjoyed having you. And if you'd like that and would like to learn some more tips, do follow us by pressing the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time you upload a new video. Until next time.